and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going over the best budget beast in Madden 20. Now, I had this video slated for yesterday or even the day before that, but there was content, there was other videos to be made, so I kind of held this one out. If you want to drop this video, guys, with all the recent market crashing and all the recent prices that have dropped, it has allowed for a lot more players to finally enter budget beast territory. And nothing's more exciting than making one of these videos, giving you guys some really amazing players at a super cheap price because. A lot of players are really cheap like 94s like, like i think there's even some 94s in this list because it has gotten that cheap some of them hit below 100k which is pretty absurd considering just a few months ago 94s were like the top cards in the game pretty crazy to see how things uh, like how quickly things progress in madden but that's the nature of the game excited for the new madden whenever you know whenever we get there but things have been progressing pretty fast we're almost in april at this point so april may june july game gets announced again so three more months it's really good it went fast guys it really did but Let's get into this list, guys. Before we get into the video, though, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to always give this video a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it when you guys always show support in each and every video. And, yeah, let's head on over to the first guy on this list, coming at number 10. Now, guys, they are ranked, although they can be interchangeable depending on some of the cards. Now, I think James Bradbury is one of the better cornerback budget piece options. 92 overall, just went to the New York Giants, which is my home team, so this isn't biased. It just happened to be that, but 92 speed, by the way, Cannot be powered up, keep that in mind. 92 speed, 93 excel. So, well rounded athleticism, 88 agility, 89 jumping, 88 player rec, 89 man, 87 zone, 89 press. See, the, you know what the beauty of James Bradbury is? Put lockdown on him, he will get 90 man, 90 zone, 90 press, 90 play rec. So, he will be a threshold cornerback for physicality, play recognition, and coverage, all above 90, plus great speed and six foot one. And to top it all off, does he have a catch with that too to make it even better? He kind of decent catch, but the card's great. I'm like, my point is that it's very rare to get an all threshold kind of cornerback or any kind of player on your team on a budget squad. So James Bradbury, 44K with lockdown him, gets every single threshold, guys. That's kind of a steal in my opinion for 44K. You can't, you can't really beat that. Next to me, Calvin Johnson. Now, as we come down the list, guys, this 94 Calvin Johnson, if you find him at the right time, you can find him right below 100K. That's why I found him. He was like 88K yesterday. Guys, if you can get this Calvin for a good price, this is your this is your receiver. This is 92 speed, 94 jumping, 90 catching, 92 catch traffic, 93 spec catch, 90 short route running, 88 medium route running, 92 deep route running. Yes, every budget team needs their speed receiver. He is not the speed receiver that will probably be reserved for another guy up this list. But you always need to have a guy like you guys know you guys know the feeling, right? All game, you're killing him with your speed receiver. Big moment on the line, third and four. You gotta you gotta you gotta throw a pass like slightly into traffic that a guy needs to aggressive catch some. You can't throw it to that speed receiver. Now you're screwed. You need space for that speed receiver. So you gotta have a guy like this, six foot five, all threshold catching, and with the right abilities. I mean, with the right cams, we'll have all threshold route running with great speed, with great height, great jumping. He's just a very well-rounded receiver, which has not been on the budget team just yet because we haven't had the, the right pricing to even put a guy like that on the budget squad or the budget list. Next is a guy that I think that every budget team kind of needs. That's Montez Sweat, one of the best budget pass rushers probably in Madden right now budget wise 93 speed so i mean 93 overall he's got 92 speed 94 excel guys that was that's faster than calvin which was six foot six so that means if you do accidentally leave him in zone i'm not saying he'll play a great zone but he can jump a route if it's like thrown towards him 81 strength 93 tackles really good 89 play rex really good 84 block shots decent 80 power moves okay but the 90 finesse is what you're looking at here you put pass rush on him he will get about a 92 93 finesse move if you have john madden on him he can even have a 95 finesse move and you, his speed's already 92. You really can't beat that, guys. That kind of speed, if he, once he block sheds off the tackle, pretty much the quarterback, if he doesn't have escape artist, he's sacked. And if he does have escape artist, he better run for his life. And as long as he doesn't have dashing dead eye, you should be pretty decent there. I'm telling you guys, not a bad idea at all. Guys, still on, of course, I still have him on this list. And that's Lamar Jackson as far as a budget quarterback. He only gets cheaper. And he's kind of just everything you want with the escape artist and the speed you're going to want to, like, I'm telling you, I have this Lamar played for quite a while with me his passing stats aren't great so if you guys really wanted to you could even power what i would recommend you could power him up to like his 91 get him a little bit higher now his other ones are kind of expensive just because of the nature of that he has a power up all the way up to his redux but guys this card for a mere 66k and he's only a little bit more expensive because people are using to power it up right now he makes if you're a guy like how i usually play i throw open routes i'm not much of a contested guy i don't throw jump balls i throw open routes i like to spread the i like to spread the field a little bit 
put my receivers on the outside mate and then once you start running with lamar they gotta pinch in a little bit and put a qb spy on you and it just makes so many advan dis disadvantages for the other team you know what i'm saying pretty much what you guys need to understand when you have a guy like lamar people have to qb spy you typically so by qb spying you that literally that typically knocks out one of the pass rushers which now makes your o-line job a little bit easier and if you run the ball it makes it a lot easier and and then if you stop doing they'll take him back off and you start running again you just keep playing with them gives you a big advantage that you kind of need in a budget team and lamar just he played great for me when i had him next on the list coming in at about number six is going to be tyree kill i guess tyree kill is a staple on any budget team now here's the thing with tyree kill his cards have went up in the recent times my best recommendation for tyree kill if, if i were you guys i'd highly recommend you go on ahead and you just power him up all the way up as much as you can with training now here's the thing this 91 does not go for that much he's up right now i'm not entirely sure why but typically you can either find him below 100k and if you cannot find him below 100k like i said just power him up all the way to his 8990 he gives you much needed speed see that that if you power up that tyree kill he will get to like a 93 94 speed anyways so i recommend you do that and if you can toss sprinter on him as well if your team has sprinter he would to about a 95 96 speed and guys that's it that's all he is he's just a speed guy and remember just a substitute real quick for him if you don't want to have him there's john ross and a few other guys like him that could just fill in that spot if you don't want to power him all the way up now i think that this team's been missing for a while is a very well-rounded user linebacker or just a linebacker in general now you don't have to use this guy which is the beauty of him because on a budget team you typically have your user and your other linebacker typically sucks now in this case with the price of brian urlacher as of recently you're able to get yourself a really really nice linebacker for a pretty cheap price and to cap it all off he can play alone if you guys look at this brian urlacher here the only issue with him is that i personally recommend the 94 the 94 is not on the block right now but it depends the 94 if you find it below 100k i recommend you scoop that up over this one but for the time being the 92 is still pretty great you also have the base legend either way they're about the same thing right here 50k you get decent speed decent excel a zone and a hit now guys the 94 is even better but he's not on the block but i recommend with the 94 he has like a 90 hit power and he has about a 90 zone with lockdown on him, so you will have a threshold zone threshold hit power and like an 88 speed so the beauty of that brian locker is pretty much that you can leave him alone by himself he'll play zone six foot four he'll get picked and he'll play the he'll play the run so i recommend the 94 when he is up but for now the 92 will get the job done if you can't afford it the 94 will be close to like 80 90k just wait for that one now guys another staple on the budget squad now we can start upgrading these quarterbacks pretty soon the only issue is that what these quarterbacks get is the thing that not many quarterbacks at their at this price point get and guys steve young still still rocking on this budget squad 35k power him up powering him up with, and everything will probably cost you about 44k total 44k he gets powered up dashing dead eye and escape bars all you need he will be a he will have all above 90 passing just about or i think he will go deep all 90 passing all not above 90 throw power above 90 throw under pressure above 90 throw under run he'll have an 82 speed he'll be able to run with escape artists which means he can escape any pass rush and he'll have dashing dead eye which does mean he can make any throw on the run literally perfect per perfect accuracy unless it's throwing across body which is such a huge ability you guys understand especially on a budget team when you're getting rushed all game like rushed to hell because they know you don't have a good old line trust me you're going to regret not having dashing dead eye or escape arts you're going to want a quarterback with him or lamar have him above lamar because he will be way more accurate than lamar a bit slower but he will get the job done if you play right with him next on the list is reggie white every team needs a pass rusher and guys this 94 reggie white if you find him on an ultimate legend saturday when people are popping up well, not, not because he's an ultimate legend but when people are opening a lot of packs or prices are coming down you can get him for about 95k i think that's right in budget territory guys a 94 over a left end and he gets nfl 100 ability which means that it activates instantly when the game starts which could give you a big advantage in the beginning powered up and chemda if you do want to go to the power up route which isn't horrible but let's say you keep him base he has a 79 speed 87 excel with with pass rush he will have a 96 to 97 power move he'll have already 94 block shed crazy crazy good play rec, crazy good block shed crazy good power move crazy good strength and pretty good athleticism with six to five frame guys and he gets abilities cards overpowered especially like he, he could even do some damage on my team right now and guys this is a pretty old card pretty great price highly recommend him he made it pretty far up this list for that reason exactly next in the list guys there's two things you could do here so devin white now the issue with devin white here is that he has multiple cards you can go with so i usually recommend this one but the issue is that he has not went up because of the gauntlet dropping so what i would recommend is guys to get this budget piece go on ahead and go finish your gauntlets if you finish your gauntlets you will get a 96 i believe devin white on your team you can be powered up you can keep him base now he'll be a 95 or 96 devin white 
and you have like a 94 95 speed that will be the ultimate budget card that you need he is free all you gotta do is go play your gauntlets get your gauntlet tokens your expert tokens and pick him as your gauntlet expert gotta go play all three gauntlets very self-explanatory go play all of them max out all the stars and all three of them and when you're done put your token your expert tokens into the set guys and then if you want you, this used to be the one but i'm gonna go with the new gauntlet one i'm telling you guys that speed combined with the zone he's gonna have which i think should be about an 80 on that card plus like a 96 95 hit power gonna be one of the best users in madden and he's absolutely free so what better than that and then number one still coming in with great pass rush great athleticism julius peppers is still a great option now i usually prefer to go with the 94 card which is about 101k and you can even get it for like 80 on an ultimate legend saturday guys this is exactly what on the budget team 85 speed 89 excel great athleticism 87 block shed 93 finesse move with the right catch you can get him to about a 90 block shed which will get him that threshold for block shedding as well as his finesse moves already insane or if you just put straight uh, pass rush on him you could probably get his finesse move to about a 95 which means he's one of the better pass rushers in the game and that speed and the height he's just very very great at what he does what you need him to do rush the quarterback guys that is about it for the whole budget beast list i hope you guys did enjoy today's budget beast list if you did smack that like button down below if it helped you guys out comment down below if you have anyone to add and be sure to hit that subscribe button come join the family turn on that naughty boys i'm out see you in the next video peace